zippity doo -da. beautiful day, great to be alive. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Chris Brown here again. So uh, what we've been doing throughout this video series is we've been going through your presentations. You are now not a salesperson, you are a consultant, um, but you're using, you're being a consultant as a way to make sales. You know, when you look at trust-based selling, who is the most trustworthy? Uh, who, who do people trust the most? Um, it's doctors. When you look at everything, they look at doctors and those type of people as the most trustworthy. And what are doctors? Well, they're advisors. They don't sell you anything. They look at your situation, evaluate your, your situation, they give you advice, and then they recommend certain things based upon your situation. That's the most trusting type of individual. So instead of being a traditional salesperson, we are turning ourselves into an advisor and a consultant. And so that way we can be seen as more trustworthy in the marketplace. Now, what we're also doing here is we are also using, uh, we're creating a enjoyable sales experience for both you and those who we're speaking to. So we've already gone over some objections. Okay, so we went over, so when you did your opening script, so we had a script and it was what we call as our opener. That's what starts the conversation. We don't care if they're interested. We don't care if any of that. So all that we're trying to do is get them to be open to looking at we have what we have to offer. That's it. Okay. So now still at that point, somebody might say no and they'll come up with all of these reasons why to say no. But the reason is because they don't trust us. So we have a really nice objection that you can use to overcome that. From that point, now you're gonna make follow-up phone calls. You're gonna present everything. They're gonna see the videos. They're gonna see some of this stuff and they may have objections. Now, at, when you're getting a, an objection at that point, it is no longer, in most cases, it is, it is no longer because they don't trust you now. Now it's, they gotta see the value. So you're getting a, an objection for a completely different reason than you do on your very first phone call. So uh, there's this objection. So this, so if you look down below directly underneath this video, you can click on the link. It's gonna open a page like what you see here. If you have a printer, you can go ahead and print it out. Um, if you don't have one, grab a clean sheet of paper and that way you can write down the script. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna change, chances are we're gonna change this script from time to time. Um, we might also see some other objections that we're getting and, and how to reason with those. Um, when we're using these objections, now again, traditionally they call these rebuttals or call them objections. And you can come up with a great, you know, somebody can tell you, I don't have the time, I don't have the money, they can say something like that. And you can come up with the most logical rebuttal explanation and why it makes sense to buy. But still what ends up happening is they still hold their grounds and they still don't buy because of one very important reason. People make decisions off of emotions not logic. It may be logical to do so, but it is not emotional. We have to appeal to their emotions. So when we're using these objections, what we're doing here is we are speaking to the heart. We need to reach the heart. We need to reach their emotions. So these aren't necessarily logical, even though that they do make sense, but they're an objection to go ahead and reach the heart and allow them the time to make a decision and not to feel pressured, which again does a couple of things. It makes you feel comfortable and it makes them feel comfortable. You feel comfortable because you don't feel like that you're pressuring them into buying. They feel comfortable because they're not annoyed by a pesky salesperson, okay? So let's look at this first objection. No time or they might say something to that effect. I didn't have time to watch the video. Some, some, something like that, okay? And you wanna be understanding with them. I can appreciate that. I understand how you feel. Aren't we all busy? We're all busy today, aren't we? You know, that's in a, you're, you're, you're being relatable to them. But Steve, I want you to think about something. You see, you are working way harder than you need to. 
I'm working way harder than I need to, you know, and that might slightly trigger their curiosity. But now we want to go in and, and explain this. Here's why. I can show you untapped income streams in your business that take little or no extra time. Chances are you are doing things in your business, but you're not capitalizing on and getting paid for them. Take for instance, Tim Carter, a handyman who tapped into a income they were missing out on. Now, according to the Google website, it says that he was making an extra $30,000 per month by tapping into an income he was missing out on. Now, how does a handyman have enough hours in his day to make an extra $30,000 a month? He doesn't. He does it by tapping into missed streams of income. So as you can see here, it is by tapping into missed streams of income. Now I'm helping, now here's, now with this, here's what we call as fear of loss. I am helping your competition. Okay, so you're helping your his competition, but now he's feeling jealousy. Uh, I'm And people are more motivated about what they will lose than what they will gain. I am helping your competition. But unless you make some time, I can't help you. We all, we all make time for what's important. You will eat today and you will sleep tonight because it's important. When can you set aside some time for us to meet together? So as you can see here, we did this from a, a emotional standpoint. Okay, sure, we could have gone in, oh, you know how important that is for you to, to be able to sit down with us. We're going to help you do this. And we're going to help you do this. You know, if you lose, lose out on this, this is what's going to happen to you. Yeah, that, that may be all true, but now you're speaking to the logical brain. You want to speak to the emotional brain and you want to reach their heart. Now let's move on to another objection. Now, again, as I just mentioned, most of them will trust you at this point. And if they're gonna say that they don't have the money, chances are at that point, they really don't have the money or they don't see the value at this point in spending that type of money. That's the issue. So if they do say, I don't have the money or some version of that, I can appreciate that. I just want you to think about something. Whoops. Let me move that back. I just want you to think about something. Do you have any kids? Now, you know who John F. Kennedy is, right? Now, I'm not asking a silly question. I'm just trying to make a point. Now, Joe Kennedy, John F. Kennedy's father, made $187 million during the Great Depression. Today, there's more money than there has ever been. So if you're lacking money, the problem is that you are on the wrong side of the cash register. I know investing in your business can be scary. It's kind of hard to know who you can trust, isn't it? Well, Joe Kennedy invested in himself and his family. And even though it was uncomfortable, he changed the direction of his family for generations. Just imagine never having to tell your wife, your kids, and your family that you don't have the money that you don't have to spend the the time to spend with them just imagine that for a moment i just wanted you to think about something and then you go and you know maybe that's the end of the, the call and you hang up but now everything that you said to them is they're going to evaluate this and by some of the things that we've placed in this script um, is what is called as word linking it's you're you're speaking to the subconscious mind to get them to think about things. You know, an example of this I might say is, you know, you know, by now you already know that I uh, about X Y Z. So here's here. Let me kind of explain that a little bit further. You know, you know, by now you already know that an email subscriber, according to the Direct Marketing Association, says that you're going to earn one hundred eighty-seven dollars uh, off the lifetime of that email subscriber. So do you hear what I just said? Buy now. So I'm telling them to buy now, which is speaking to their subconscious mind. Now that's a very easy one, but that's a way that we can talk and say things and to get them to reevaluate. Not now, uh, obviously now as well, but throughout their day, they can keep on hearing that. 
and it might be speaking to them throughout their head to get them to reevaluate it and then that way they can make the decision of going ahead and buying. Now, um, there's other objections that we're gonna place in here as well. So we do wanna encourage you to come back from time to time, check out, come back to this page, uh, see any changes that we've made, see if there's any other objections that we've added here, because we wanna add the most relevant objections. If I get a new objection or if you get a new objection, let me know how did, what came up? Did you have a question? How are we gonna handle it? That's the type, type of thing that we wanna do for you. Okay, but I do hope this information was helpful. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. We'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye now.